The wheel of fortune favours the bold adventure. The lure of each load can carry a striking rich seam. A kibble of ore promises treasures on earth. Tin, copper and gold haunt the dark place in a dream. Coal, piston, cylinder and beam. Bob wall, condenser, boiler, steam. Wheel turning, pumping, stamping rock, crush, grind, considerite. The block tackle lifting kibble bucket. Stop! A story of Cornwall tries to capture in a dozen songs some of the fundamental landmarks in our county's history, from its geological origins, the arrival of and replacement of our pagan religions with the more contemporary religions that we have and the impact that's had, and the huge changes that the various different forms of work in the county, from farming, fishing, tin mining, to modern forms of tourism and creativity. I wanted to try and give a sense of all those things in a dozen or so songs. The Royal Cornwall Museum um, asked me if I, the, my choir, Canorian Lowen, um, could maybe do a presentation of some songs around the theme of monsters. And when we talked it through in some detail, it became apparent that this was really a no-brainer to get children um, involved with. My background is in education and I got really excited at the possibilities of doing this project not just with my choir, not just with this fabulous band, Dalla, but also introducing children to these elements of history and trying to build a whole curriculum project out of it. It started off with the children coming into the museum and experiencing the museum and all the artefacts around it and, and really particularly the Cornish history, as well as the rehearsals that they had in the week. We took boxes of objects out to their school so that they could handle it, they could handle some Cornish history. So it's not just a case of this is a venue for schools to come and sing in, it's all, it's all embedded in the whole idea of Cornish history. It's about back from when they t talked about myths and legends like giants and mermaids and then it goes on to when Cornwall had its mining industry and then why people left Cornwall because the mining stopped and then how they came back again, how Cornwall is now. The main curriculum areas that we did, well certainly music, I got them to sing in two languages, in English and in Cornish, but as well as that we got all the English out of the texts. We got the history, obviously. We were looking at earth sciences, about the geology and the formation of Cornwall, where that came from. We looked at religion and the impact of, 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 that powerful people have over religion and how that alters the lives of ordinary people. It goes to that saying how, how much art we got out of it, how much storytelling, um, how much poetry we got out of it. I just love the way that we perhaps moved away from what we normally do and to have all these people ranged around us and in between, I think it shows all of those people, many of whom I'm guessing have not come to the museum before, what a museum can do. It's not just about the objects in the cases and, and come and look in a, in a very passive way. It's, it's a really interactive cultural hub and, and I think that really shows that this evening. One of the most rewarding aspects is to have been asking the children after their full experience of a story of Cornwall, what did they get out of it? Now, so the 30 replies that I had from the children, not one of those replies is like its neighbour. Yeah, I've really enjoyed it and I think it's like really fun and I'd really like to do it like again in the future. It brings together all the different strands all the way through, the community, the history, the objects, the interaction, the actual feeling of objects from some people as well. It exceeded my expectations of, of what it might have been and that really is due to the collaboration with all the different elements of the community. So the museum added a huge amount, all those working together for a single purpose made the project so much larger than it might have been if it was just a story of Cornwall.